Hey everyone, I've been having a lot of fun uh, doing this series and we are on day 42 of trying to get to 2000. We're currently at 1690. If I win one or two more games, I will be at 1700, which is going to be my peak on this series. Um, 1690 is currently my peak. Um, so it's pretty exciting seeing myself progress. And I think, um, I think we can go higher. Um, but we can also go lower. So um, I'm not trying to claim that I am the greatest chess player or anything. I'm trying to learn. Um, so let's get into a game here, and I will make mistakes and everything, but I do think I'm around this ELO, so we'll see if we can uh, we can, we can can get a few, a few more wins here, get a wee bit higher. Um, I am studying in my meantime, and trying to get better at the game, so I think um, I think we will keep progressing. But yeah, here we go, another game. We are playing somebody from the Dominican Republic, and I'm going to play this um, Jabava system again, the London Jabava system, because I did really enjoy playing it in the last game. He's denying this, um, which was this kind of attack that I missed in the last one. Um, yeah, I think last time we played it, I did fairly well, but I, I made a few errors. Um, so this time we're going to try to not make those errors anymore. He's going to want to come here. So let's deny that. Um, and we'll try to castle here. Now getting this doubled pawn seems like it's, uh, Maybe it's something common in this in this system. I don't know. Um, this move kind of um, it does deny me, but the game uh, because of it, I feel like I'm slightly more developed. Do we bring the queen up? He comes in here. We take. He takes, and then we have to move our knight. Can we recapture? He could come here. I think I'm okay with this because. Moving, moving this pawn up doesn't seem super desirable for him. It does weaken his king side. So let's go for this. Seems a bit strange putting my queen into a pin. But, um, okay, so he's not allowing this move. Um, so if now if I just kick his bishop, he's going to come here. I'm going to take, he's going to take. Maybe I will have to come here. He can push me away, but I could take here. So I think we're still okay. Let's just chuck this pawn up and then castle. Okay. So he can still come here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely castling this side because I want to attack his. Uh, I want. Um, the, uh, I want the safety here. I think this is okay. Yeah, this is sort of what I figured he would go for. I don't know if it's wrong losing the bishop pair, but I, I think this is a good outpost for my knight. If he decides to trade, I can put my bishop here. And I think this pawn is a weakness. We can start pushing this pawn, gain some space, maybe get the queen on here and target here. If I come back here, he can push. So let's drop the whole way back. And all his pieces are on the back row. I feel like... My position's a little better, but um, we need to break it open. Maybe pushing here, take, take with the rook. Let's get this rook over, or maybe our rook up to here. I think starting with this looks okay. And maybe he will defend it, yeah, okay. So if we take here, he will take, and then we can capture, capture. And then develop our rook with tempo. I'm okay with this. This bishop is really bad. He could have taken this pawn. I didn't even see that. Let's try to keep this pawn safe. But I do want to move here. If possible. This is more positional chess, isn't it? If we can get onto this scram, I'd be very happy. If he comes here, this is definitely a mistake. Okay, so right now he's threatening this pawn. So I can just push it. 
I think that's fine. And then we're going to push this one, if possible. If he pushes here, I mean, his bishop's really weak. He, if he keeps all his pawns on, on white squares, he's pretty weak. Okay, if I come here and he takes, we take with king. He's got check. We can defend with queen. If I go here, I can I can get maybe here. I think we have to take, check, and then move the pawn. And then go here. Because this blocks his queen from defending. Now he can force a trade here. All right, this is a, a checkmate sort of threat. Not yet. I should maybe have moved this pawn because now he can come here. Okay. Um, I don't think he can defend this pawn, but he does have this pass pawn, these two pass pawns. So I'm a little worried about that. My bishop's a lot stronger than his. Maybe I can get through here and snatch up these pawns. I feel like he doesn't have a really a move here. What's his move? If he ever moves this bishop, we can we can grab pawns. Okay, so I come here. He just wants to trade pieces because he's got a pass pawn. I don't want to trade yet. Here, he doesn't have a check. Okay, so now he's trying to get this piece involved. This is his weakness. We need to target this pawn. I think coming over here seems good. He can come here. I'm just trying to defend this. Maybe I should try to push this pawn up. I don't know. But this disconnects both of his pawns here. Okay, so he can come here. But we can also come here. Here. Let's say take, take. And then it's my move. Check. Here. Here. And then he can come, he can come here with the queen. And I... I can start running this way. I think I'm okay. I'm defending here. These two are disconnected now. So like taking this pawn was super important, I think. Okay, so he's threatening checkmate here. And I can't move my, my king up because of the queen. So do I have to come here and here? I come here, he goes here, I can come here, he goes here, I go here, he takes, I don't like it, don't really know what else to do though, is there another way I can defend this, I don't think so, I think I have to come here, he's gonna win this pawn, it would be nice to get my bishop here, or, or my bishop here, we'll see, If I go this way, he takes with check, and I can't defend, so I have to go up here, he checks, he takes, All right, okay, okay, so if I go here, he takes with check, here, check, here, he doesn't have anything here, does he? Yeah, he does, he would skewer me. So this is a bad move because I can't go here. When he comes here, I wouldn't be able to come back. So I can't go this way. So I think I have to go this way because he wants his pawn, so. So now he's gonna take here. And now I can defend here maybe and threaten mate here. Yeah. So we're threatening checkmate. He also can start doing stuff, but now this pawn is protected. He's defending the mate. I can go for this. I think I'm gonna do this. So how is he gonna defend this? I don't wanna stay on white squares because his bishop's on a light square. I wanna stay on the dark squares if possible. If I go on any light squares, 
you know he's got checks with the bishop and then he's got he's got two pieces attacking so i don't want that i think i'm gonna move up he's just gonna continually check me i think okay if i go here this is check i go here he's got this then i would have pawn he could take i have queen okay i think i'm gonna go I go here. Oh, he's got this. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to defend with pawn. It's mid if he doesn't not check me. So he has to go here. Can I go here? My other option is to defend here, but then I don't have the mate threat. But I think that's okay, because I can take this pawn, maybe. I could just go for a draw. I'm low on time and I'm stressed. Maybe this is a win, I don't know. So if he comes back here, he's defending this. If I push up, he just takes. I mean, he has to do this. This is what he has to do. Threatening here. He's coming in here again. I think I'm going to go for the draw. Ah, uh, he's completely blocked me here. He's completely blocked me here. games oh, I think I'm lost dang it I'm so bad at these end games I just low on time and I'm stressed opposite colored bishop should be a completely drawn end game but I allowed his king to come in I don't want him to, st I want him to stalemate me, so that's why I'm giving him my bishop. If he comes here, it's a stalemate. Why is he taking so long? Just queen here, bishop here, and checkmate, you know? I don't know. Uh, he's really doing it this way. Okay. GG. Oh, dang it. Oh, we should have won that one. Or not won, but at least drawn. It was a completely drawn endgame, I believe. Um, yeah, so here, the game's drawn. It's dead even.
This is a mistake. So this is what lost it. So I don't know why that is. I should probably study this. My bishop is sort of tied down here. I can never push this pawn because he just takes. And um, yeah, I, I don't know why this is so wrong. I mean, yeah, maybe because his king gets opposition. But, like, what's my best move here? Just move the bishop? Can I move the king up and then give him a free pawn? That hardly makes any sense. I would never do that in a normal game. You know? I just wouldn't do that. Um, so now he takes this. And it's saying I can go bishop d2. I wouldn't go d2 because that allows this to advance. It says b2 is just as good. But also g3. So I have to stay here for this pawn. So just keep my king in the corner, I suppose. e6. f4. And then he starts pushing. I don't know why this is a good move. h3, and then we go g3. Bishop d5. So he's holding the promoting square. So the king has to take here. But like, what if he just moves up? Then d5. I'm basically forcing him off, off of the, okay, here. And then c6. It looks like it's completely lost. c6 is is the best move, maybe? c6, yeah. And then... I can never take this because he's defending it. And this one is defended too. So... Yeah. It says go f5 here. f5. Um, yeah, bishop f5, I suppose. And then king f3 e6 e6 so he's just hovering back between these two and he's eventually going to come in i don't understand this end game this is just ridiculous so if i just sit here then he's going to start pushing this one right okay now this is a blunder now the game's drawn <laughs> because of this i don't know no, this is oh oh because he blocks his own his own his own pawn. Okay. Oh, I hate end games. I probably should study them. It looks like I'm gonna be getting into more games where it gets down to an end game, um, and it's so easy to just completely throw it in one silly king move like this. But um, that didn't happen. Um, good job to my Dominican Republic friend here, Gabriel. Oof. Um, he outplayed me. And uh, I don't know if there was any point in the game where we were actually super ahead. It says here in the early game, like at this point. So this was this was a mistake because I give up this pawn, but he doesn't take it. And then I push the pawn, but maybe my best move was probably to come back. No, just to push here. And what if he takes and c5 and maybe I have more of an attack here. E5, bishop takes it. Oh, no. D7. Yeah, his bishop's just bad and mine's good. So I feel like this is this is winning. Maybe I shouldn't have been so eager to just trade off the pieces. And I should have gone for this more so than I did. Here, I did um, blunder here. He could have checkmated me in three moves. So what's the continuation here? Is it here? No? Oh, no, no, wait. The queen's here. What am I saying? Uh, it's it's bishop here, here, queen here, is checkmate, but if I had blocked here, yeah, yeah, so I just didn't see this, um, so here when I moved down, this is a mate, and I was just looking at this checkmate threat, which was defending, but like this, yeah, so I deserve to lose this game, let's be honest, <laughs> so I, I, allowed a checkmate, even a checkmate in one here, which is just bishop here. I was so focused on this, 
that I didn't see he could checkmate me in one move. Yeah, so there was a couple of points there where I definitely blundered. Maybe this London system isn't so good for me. I don't know. But that was a pretty even game for the most part. I did blunder a little bit. And um, the end game, I didn't know how to activate my pieces as well as he did. So, GG. Catch you guys on Christmas. Christmas. Let's go. My next video will be on Christmas. So, I will see you guys then. Happy Christmas, everyone.